This is Jideon. He is a YouTuber with 7.8 million subscribers. And he is in the news this week because he just deleted all of his videos. But why? Well, he explained that he is retiring from being a menace. And now he wants to be a full-time follower of Jesus. Apparently, his rise to popularity was largely due to prank videos. And now he's speaking out against pranking people. He tells this story about how one of his pranks actually got three security guards fired from their jobs. However, at the time, he didn't care about how his prank was going to affect such people because the whole idea of a prank revolves around laughter at the expense of others. You lie to other people in order to humiliate them for the sake of laughing at them. Or another means of pranking people is just trying to instigate a problem with them, trying to provoke a reaction out of them. But such content has proven to be very financially lucrative over the years, as he explains in this video that due to his videos, he was able to purchase this house. He was able to buy his mom her dream car. So this has led a lot of people to record prank videos. And not only that, many people will even fake a prank for the sake of making money. However, over time, we find that so many of these prankster YouTubers who make lots of money end up being depressed, end up eventually turning to religion and repenting from the pranks that they did. And this is an important point for children as well as parents to internalize. I would assume that the vast majority of those who view all these prank videos and help those content creators make so much money are children are very young. I don't think most adults appreciate people going out and causing havoc out in society. However, when you're younger, you view the world differently. You know, you might not be as self-aware. You might not understand the implications of the people who are causing this chaos in society. But this leads a lot of the younger viewers growing up wanting to be YouTubers. A lot of children nowadays, that's what they want to be when they grow up. They want to be a YouTuber. And if they find a lot of YouTubers finding success by doing pranks, we find a lot of them wanting to grow up and do pranks. And as a result, this is just going to lead to more and more chaos. I mean, take a look at this. Video shows encounter between YouTube prankster and food delivery driver who shot him. When you get all these people running around trying to provoke and instigate problems with people for the sake of recording content as pranks on YouTube, things are going to get bad. And this individual actually shot the person pranking him and he was acquitted. So I think it's long overdue that as a society, we really start internalizing just how bad pranks are, that we stop rewarding and encouraging this sort of behavior. And we should definitely explain to our kids why it's wrong to behave this way. And we should not allow them to watch videos where you have these people going around in society lying to people to make a fool out of them, to humiliate them and then making money off of it. This is an article on ilmstitute.com. It's written by Muhammad James Sutton entitled, The Ruling on Pranking Muslims. And this talks about pranking from an Islamic perspective. Now, it should be noted that if you wanna be a righteous person, if you want to follow Islam and you want to please Allah, this doesn't mean that you can never joke around or laugh or have any fun. However, there are guidelines, and when it comes to pranking people, there are three specific things that I'd like to mention that really uh, are problematic and sinful about pranks specifically. Generally speaking, number one, pranking involves lying. It involves being dishonest. This is sinful. Another thing is that it involves humiliating somebody else. This is also sinful. And thirdly, it involves scaring people a lot of the time. You might scare somebody. All of these things are impermissible. So I encourage people to go to ilmstitute.com and read this. And all the parents out there, please explain this to your children if they are watching pranks and they are infatuated themselves with pranks.